Hi, I'm George and welcome back to part four of this Light Shadow series where we finally get to fly it on solid motors for our level one certification attempt. If you want to see how this rocket was built or how it flies as a water rocket, you can just click up here. Other than that, let's see it in action. Setting up Light Shadow for a pyro flight is a little different. For the first flight, we used a CTI H120 motor. Here we're adding a couple of cardboard tubes that act as thermal insulation to keep the hot motors away from the fiberglass tube. Now we can't use the motor as is because the body of the rocket is a pressure chamber and so we can't use the motor's ejection charge. We simply remove the black powder from the top of the motor and then use 5 minute epoxy to plug the hole to the delay charge. Now this ensures no gases from the motor enter the pressure chamber. Once the glue sets, we put the motor in the rocket and secure it with the retainer nut. We slightly modified the quick launcher by adding a blast deflection plate and a big bolt for the rockets to sit on. The altitude here is an average of the two altimeter readings.
As we had enough daylight left and one more motor, we decided to put the rocket up again.